Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. Happy Wednesday, happy what I eat in a day. I'm going to take you along with me today for all of my meals and I have a really good summer filled dinner recipe for you that's incredible and really low in points. So if you're excited for another what I eat in a day, give this video a thumbs up and if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, I'd love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and click that little bell right next to it so you never miss a single video. Check out the description box down below for tonight's dinner recipe. It is on my recipe website. I'll link that at the very top of the description box for you. You'll also find nutrition coaching. I do personalized to you macros and calories. Highly, highly recommend as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions if you just want to chat with me directly. Links, discounts to all my favorite things and my Facebook group head on over, join us there as well, are all down in that description box. So let's jump into this What I Eat in a Day on WW. should calm down and that I'm overthinking everything about you and that we're good the way we are mm -hmm. but I don't know that much about you what things you like and what you don't Should work it out Before I'm too invested I should probably ask ya Ask you all my questions Get to know you better Why can you be trusted? Will you take me for granted? And will you lock me down? I know I'm feeling something for ya For today, we're keeping it pretty simple. I went ahead and cut up a small mango. It was super ripe from Imperfect Foods. I'm going to have that. And then my little avocado toast is actually one of the Trader Joe's hash browns. I just popped it in my toaster for a couple of cycles to get it nice and crispy. Three points worth of avocado, one egg with some everything but the bagel seasoning. So the mango is zero, the egg is zero, the hash brown is four, and the avocado is three. So my breakfast is seven smart points. And these two, she's trying to sunbathe. She will lay outside until she's so hot. I mean, physically hot to the touch. Then she'll come in, cool off in the air conditioning and go back out and just do that over and over again. And this one sees his mommy in the doorway. Mama, you see mama? Hi, baby. Are you playing? So I'm annoying my sister when she's trying to sunbathe. I thought I would give you guys that update I promised on the dogs and just kind of everything that's been going on. So we took Diesel to the vet last Thursday, June 10th, and they wanted to do some x-rays just to make sure that his ACL was indeed torn. He was pretty confident that it was the vet, but they did do a full set of x-rays, which they had to sedate him for. So poor Diesel was completely out of it for about seven or eight hours he didn't eat take his medication he just laid on the floor we felt so bad and poor Troy had to pick him up and take him out of his vehicle and that dog weighs like 115 pounds but he had to take him out of the Jeep and set him on the ground so he could walk in the house which is horrible and they did do the x-ray and yes his ACL is torn it's so sad because it's torn completely which we didn't anticipate we thought that it was just partially torn since he can put weight on it he generally doesn't put a lot of weight on it 
it, but he can. And normally when the dog's ACL is completely torn, they won't put any weight on it at all. But come to find out, it is completely torn and there were two surgery options. One of them was actually putting a metal pin and drilling through the bone. And he said that they normally do that procedure for younger dogs or dogs with lots of energy. And Diesel is nine and a half, he'll be 10 in January. So they didn't think that that particular surgery was necessary. And that procedure is about two to three times more expensive than the procedure where they essentially use a cross between dental floor Loss and fishing line and I guess they string the tendon back to the bone and then it heals automatically and reattaches itself to the bone. So that's the procedure that we're going to do. It, the cost again was about a third of the other procedure. It's still going to be roughly $2,000 with the x-rays, medication, sedation. So it's still not an inexpensive procedure. And then the recovery time for that is six to eight weeks. And that means that Diesel cannot run, cannot jump, cannot do anything. So essentially he has to be on a leash all the time. And if you didn't know, our dogs have a dog door, so they just literally come and go as they please, and they run to the back gate and bark at everything and run all around the yard. So it's going to be a lot of work. It's constant care, constant attention, just making sure that he doesn't run or jump because it could re-tear his ACL and we would have to start all over. So his surgery is scheduled for July 2nd, and again, we're six to eight weeks of recovery. So of course, I'll keep you guys posted it as things go on before and after the surgery and how the recovery goes. But we're sad. We're sad that he has to go through surgery at nine and a half years old. And we're sad that he just has to be really mellow and chill for six to eight weeks, which Diesel's very lazy anyways, and he likes to lay around. But to be forced to do that all the time and not be able to play with the other dogs or run around the yard. It just makes us really sad that he has to go through all of that. But on the flip side, we want him to be better and this surgery is necessary. It will not heal on its own. It will just get worse. And the other ACL could potentially tear due to all of his weight being put on that one. They did x-ray the other ACL and they said that it looks really good. He does have a little bit of arthritis in the leg that has the torn ACL. Nothing to be too concerned about, but definitely something to watch. So that's the update. That's the diesel update. So of course, I'll keep you guys in the loop. He will continue to take medication up until the surgery. So we're just refilling that as necessary at the vet. So wish us luck, send your prayers and all your good vibes for Diesel. He's truly such a good boy. Bubba, tell them that we gave an update on your poor torn ACL today. Say so I've been laying here for the last two hours since I barked at the FedEx guy. So here's my lunch for today. I'm getting pretty hungry since I didn't have a morning snack. That breakfast kept me super, super full. And I did eat a little bit later than normal because I had a coaching call this morning. So I'm ready for some lunch. It's currently 1140 AM. So these are my Buffalo chicken meatballs that I made in my meal prep. These are fantastic. So, so delicious. And then I'm going to have one of the Chobani Less Sugar Wild Blueberry Yogurts. And I have some organic blackberries here from my Imperfect Foods order. So my meatballs are three points. My yogurt is four. Blackberries are zero. So seven points for lunch. Say hi to everyone. Yeah, everybody sure loves you, you cute little turd. They always say how cute you are. They don't have to live with you though. No, they don't have to live with you. It's 2.30, I'm going to have a quick afternoon snack before I hop on my Zoom call with my challenge group. So I'm having the ginger better booch that came in my Imperfect Foods order that I shared in last week's What I Eat in a Day. And then I'm going to have my all time favorite Verb Energy Bar. This is the cookie butter. So delicious, you guys. These little bars have 65 milligrams of caffeine. So the same amount as a shot of espresso. They're 90 calories, they're three points. They're incredibly soft and gooey and delicious. And and the cookie butter one, if you love cookie butter, you're going to love these bars. I will link them down below. They have a 50% off of a starter pack. This is a starter pack here. You can do a single flavor, and then they usually throw in some extras, four or five other flavors for you to try. So this starter pack I did, of course, was the cookie butter, but you get to pick your flavor. I love all the flavors. There has not been one that I've tried that I haven't liked. So here's what they look like. 
They're seriously so good. This one is that whole like speculose cookie butter vibe with that little bit of like cinnamony taste that you get in cookie butter. So good. And these are, again are great for pre post workout when you need a little pick me up. This is going to come in so handy before the rest of my day today. Again, I'll link them down below with half off of the starter pack. Highly recommend those of you that have ordered them are loving them. Say hi to the zoom call. We're about to get on our 3 PM challenge zoom call. So for dinner tonight, I'm making Mexican street corn salad. We're going to pair this with some sausages. I'm really excited for this. Like I said in my grocery haul, it's the first time I've purchased the Kojita cheese. I can't wait to try it. And the first time I've actually made a Mexican street corn salad. So let me show you what's in our recipe. First, you're going to need salt and pepper, oil, Parmesan cheese, lots of corn. You can use fresh, frozen, or canned. I went ahead and just opted for canned. Some seasonings, cumin, paprika, garlic powder, and fresh cilantro if you'd rather. Troy doesn't like cilantro, so I'm going to use dry just because the flavor isn't so strong. A red bell pepper, a couple of limes for some fresh lime juice, Kojita cheese, green onions, and a red onion. So the first thing I'm going to do is juice my limes, chop up half of my red bell pepper, my green onions, and you want about a quarter cup of a red onion. together the dressing portion of the salad. So we need a quarter cup of the fresh squeezed lime juice, two tablespoons of light mayo. I actually don't even think I showed you guys that in the beginning. I always forget an ingredient. So two tablespoons of light mayo, one teaspoon of cumin, one teaspoon of smoked paprika, half of a teaspoon of salt, and about a quarter teaspoon of pepper. Stir that all together and that's the sauce for the salad. Once your mayo's mostly mixed in, we're just going to set this aside. Into a very large skillet, I'm adding one tablespoon of oil. Once your oil is warm, we're going to add in all of our corn. We want our stove top on high heat and we want to allow the corn kernels to become charred. Once my corn was charred, I didn't hit record on my camera, I did add in the green onion, red bell pepper, red onion, and cilantro. I just also popped in a little bit of garlic powder and then six ounces of Parmesan cheese. Stir that in. Also, I did turn the heat off once my corn was charred. So I went ahead and transferred the corn mixture into a bowl. Just, I didn't want it to cook anymore, so I went ahead and transferred it to the bowl. Then we're going to add that dressing that we made. Stir that in really well. You guys, this smells so good. Look at how yummy this looks. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to have this with dinner. And then one half of a cup of the Kojita cheese. Mix that in. And then I'm going to pop this in the refrigerator while I make our sausages to go along with the street corn. But this, oh my gosh, this is gonna be so delicious. Look at this. These are the sausages that we're going to have. These are just the Sam's Choice chicken apple sausages. This entire huge link is only two points. I love these. They have really clean ingredients. I'm just going to slice these in half and pan fry these up. So I went ahead and cut the sausages in half and I'm just going to fry them up in a pan here. I don't have any added oil or anything. And then once they start frying, I'll just flip them and we'll get them nice and crispy. All right, the sausages are done. They're nice and crispy. So I'm going to plate up one sausage for me, two for Troy. Then I'll serve up the corn salad and I'll be back to share all the points and calories. 
So here is my dinner. The chicken apple sausage is only two points. And then the Mexican street corn salad makes six servings. One serving is six points on the blue and purple plan and eight points on green because you do have to count for corn on the green plan. So this is my eight smart point dinner. So here's what I'm going to have for dessert tonight. The Yasso coffee chocolate chip ice cream bars. These are one of my very favorite. I picked this up at Walmart. They're 100 calories or four points. I like all the also bars, but this one is definitely my very favorite. Thank you for joining me on this What I Eat in a Day on WW. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today throughout my day, seeing all of my delicious meals and that dinner recipe. You guys have to make that Mexican street corn salad. It is so incredibly delicious. Again, that is on my recipe website, which you will find down in the description box, along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and my Facebook group. Don't forget to head on over and join us there. If you love today's video, please give it a big thumbs up. It means a lot to me and truly helps out my channel. And if you're new or you're not yet subscribed, I'd love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and click the bell next to it so you never miss a single video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy Wednesday, friends and I'll see you next time. Bye.